My guest today is Susie Daphnis, a very well-networked woman. She's featured on the BRW Young Rich list each year from 2003 to 2006, was a finalist in the 2001 Telstra Business Women's Awards, has been a panelist on Channel 7's Dragon's Den and has built the Australian Business Women's Network into a formidable national organisation of women business owners. She's also one of the most 2.0 people I know. Very fittingly, our topic today is networking without leaving your desk. Hi, Susie. Hi, thank Hello, you for Susie. having me. Pleasure. So look, it's probably, to get us into this topic, it's probably true to say that, um, particularly at these times, a lot of businesses that have kind of got their head down, you know, concentrating on work, or indeed there might be businesses that are in a remote location, it's not so easy to network. So huge appeal for being able to network without leaving our desk. So, how do we get into the topic? How do we do this? People live, especially in Australia, we have people in regional areas, in country areas, they don't have access to the same, even networking events that perhaps their city cousins do. And more and more people are starting to work from home. Um, there's the convenience, there's young children, there's all sorts of reasons to do it. So being able to network right from your desk is really important. My, the first question I would always ask myself, or have people ask them, is why are you even networking? What is your strategy? Is it to generate leads? Is it to build yourself as an expert? Uh, is it because you want to have social connections? Because that'll determine how and what you network. Okay, so have a, a clear purpose to network Absolutely in the Absolutely clear yes, purpose. Yes. The second thing is be someone interesting enough to network with. Right. Many of us have probably been to networking events where you get what I call card dealers, who are the people who think they're at a casino and they're just spreading out yes, the cards shocking. with absolutely no purpose. We yeah. recently actually did a survey with our business women's community and asked what the most frustrating things were right. about networking and dealing with that sort of character yeah. was one of the biggest Someone frustrations. Someone who just thrusts business cards or brochures into your hand. The, and the has absolutely no intention of um, mm. making a connection, of referring business, of having an equal exchange uh, okay. and relationship. So again, I would look at your purpose and then we can look at the tools. Okay. So when it comes to the tools, um, I'm going to assume you have a computer and you have a desk yeah, I think and you probably have that. a phone. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and unfortunately for some people still don't have great broadband, but let's yeah. assume you have a computer and you have access and connectivity. Yes. So there's a number of things. Um, the first one that I want to talk about is social networking mm -hmm. and most of us, whether we've used the tools or not, have probably heard of Facebook, LinkedIn, yeah. more recently Twitter mm -hmm. has been a lot in the news. Sure. Now these are, sorry, go no, ahead. No, sorry, a lot of businesses are probably involved in social networking to some extent without even realizing that they are. A lot of people have jumped on the bandwagon, yeah. if you like, just purely because someone said, you really should be on Facebook. Yeah. So I would say, why do you want to be on Facebook? Yeah. So um, in the last year, I've been participating in a number of social networks and my network has grown both nationally and internationally um, very, very well. Mm -hmm. But you can fumble around a little bit. The key thing is to know why how to use these tools. Okay. Because it's great to find your high school friends, but really how yes. is that going to help Not you gonna help network? Not going to help okay. you network necessarily. Yeah. So you want to be able to use some of the functionality that is more business oriented, mm -hmm. such as creating a face for your company on right. Facebook and being able to promote your events, your product launches, creating a group where your customers can gather together and talk about your business. Okay. Um, Does it mean also as a business, should we well, presumably, we, we should be more personal than perhaps some businesses are, are used to being when they get onto Facebook and other social networks. These social networks could, it is a great way to spam, and that is the wrong okay. way to do it. Right. Um, it's no worse uh, to send out an e a blanket email to a thousand people that's not personalized than it is to go on Facebook and connect with people uh, without actually being a little bit personal. Mm -hmm. People want to connect with people. Yep. Social networking has made that very, very easy. But again, if we use the tools correctly, mm -hmm. LinkedIn, which is a professional network, is a great way to find new staff, uh, resources, um, uh, suppliers, um, even do market research. Um, LinkedIn has a functionality where you can ask a question and people will answer that question. So if you're researching perhaps, you know, what technology tools are you using in your mm. business and you're a technology company, yeah. you can get a really quick poll of okay. what the public is so saying. So like, like a forum capability. Like a thing. forum capability. Yeah. Um, so there's tools that allow you to converse back and forth and that mm. are some, then there are some that are more directional. Yeah. So um, social networking is one tool. There are other online areas such as forums, which yeah. you mentioned. So you can find areas where you can be an expert or contribute to conversations yep. that will put your name out there. So if one of your strategies for networking was to create a public profile for yourself, then you can use public forums, you could blog. Again, blogging is not 
It's easy to do, right. but again, if you're going to be uh, the expert in your area, you want to study a little bit what good bloggers do. And okay. So don't just leap into it, have a plan. Leap into it, yeah. get started, yeah. but have a look at what a good blogger is doing. How do they communicate? How do they um, uh, give resources to their customers? Mm -hmm. One of the reasons to blog is to be in touch with your consumers or potential consumers. Mm -hmm. So you want to be creating conversations that they can be a part of. Yeah. Rather so than broadcasting, okay. you want to engage them. Yeah. You want them contributing back to you. You know, we go from being, you know, big brother, um, putting out information mm. to where your customers can help create your products and services because you're listening to them that closely. Yeah. And I think that when we're looking at networking, networking has changed. It's not you get up, you go to a breakfast, you hand out a few cards over some cold right. breakfast. <laughs> it really is about a two-way conversation yep. um, and it really is about being someone that people want to network with. So you need to be a little bit interesting. Yes. Okay. Um, no one really cares about your business, they care what you can do you for, them. for them. Okay. So look, you mentioned you mentioned forums, you mentioned LinkedIn, you mentioned and Facebook. At the beginning, you mentioned Twitter, and as you say, everybody's talking about Twitter. So, somebody watching this, listening to this, what's a step into Twitter? Why? Why would we go into Twitter? You would go into Twitter if, one, you wanted to um, have a communication tool that's really succinct, that allows you to uh, broadcast, as well as have two-way conversation. This is the way I use Twitter. Okay. I signed on to Twitter. I found a few people who were thought leaders in the areas I'm interested in, mainly mm -hmm. marketing, Web 2.0, women and business. Yeah. And then I started to follow their conversation. So, and then I started to, con to have two-way conversations. So contribute so, as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So if I read a great article about small business, I will Twitter it. Those who are following me can link through to that article. Okay. Um, I may, I'm going away next month, I need a dog sitter. So here the personal aspect comes in. I go, does anyone know a dog sitter? Right. Okay, so I'm networking in a different way. I've built yeah. great relationships. I've been invited to do interviews. I've been invited to speak. I've been invited to contribute articles. So I'm networking, but without, without leaving, leaving my desk. <laughs> Look, exactly. Susie, it's fantastic. Thank you for spending the You're time with welcome. us and for giving us a good snapshot of, of what's going on. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.